Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome to all of you for today's session. Yes. So, students, this session which we are going to conduct today, that is very important from exam point of view. Substantive test, one of the hot topic of the F8, audit and assurance. Yes. And this topic has to be tested in your exam on average, on average 25 to 30 marks. It has to be tested. It must have to be tested. So we should be clear about it. It is tested in the both sections, section A, which is objective type question and section B. In section B, particularly, in section B, particularly, it causes uh, students uh, some panic because they are unable to deal it with, uh, with the examiner expectations. So our today's session, that is mainly the focus is that how to, how to approach this area in the exam. This is our, uh, the main focus regarding this session today. So then the agenda means what are the substantive tests? A brief overview I will be giving to you people. What are the substantive tests? Of course, we are not today the focusing on the knowledge aspect of the of the of the topic and how to draft the a test substantive test in exam and then past exam questions we will be doing some past questions today itself now so the point is substantive test what they actually are students so these are the tests substantiate which are used by auditor to substantiate the financial statement item, to verify the financial statement item. These are the, these are the tests. In fact, we know that it is the responsibility of management to prepare financial statement as per relevant IFRSs. It is the responsibility of the management. We know that. So auditor has to verify whether, whether financial statements, you know, that there is a recognition criteria. The recognition criteria of item, when to recognize, for example, development cost. when it can be capitalized for example provision there is certain condition that there is a past event when there is a probable outflow right so then it should be recognized so recognition criteria is there when provision for restructuring has to be recognized when the restructuring plan is complete when it is announced publicly before the year end, when it is, uh, its, its cost can be measured reliably. So you see here, there is some recognition criteria which has to be met. So auditor verifies where, whether an item has been recorded in financial statements by the company whether it meets recognition criteria or not. And then once recognition criteria is met, then measurement, for example, inventory has to be recognized at lower of cost in NRV. So auditor applies substantive test on the cost of inventory, on the NRV of inventory, auditor for the development cost, Auditor applies audit test on the development cost, whether development cost which they have recognized 
whether it is measured appropriately it is amorti being amortized correctly like that license cost it is measured appropriately it is being tested for impairment appropriately depreciation depreciation is being calculated correctly in line with is 16 so measurement of the items is whether they have been measured appropriately by management or not so so substantive tests are applied to verify whether items in financial statements have been measured correctly or not first of all they meet recognition criteria substantive test on that okay next then whether they have been measured properly or not then third disclosed presentation in financial statements whether they are measured uh, disclosed and presented as per relevant accounting standard or not yes so so this is why substantive tests are applied so they are not something uh, you know that uh, something quite out of the way thing you have studied accounting treatments and those accounting treatments have to be verified right so audit procedures are applied substantive tests are applied on financial statements the first thing on financial statement item whether they have been recognized measured disclosed correctly correctly means as per relevant ifrs or ias so these are the purposes of substantive test so these are this is the purpose of the substantive test now next point so the next point is what are the so this our two day session the session primary goal is exam skill we will talk about that knowledge is not our topic today although i have given brief introduction so substantive test we know that substantive test are of two types one they are called analytical procedure and second they are called test of details analytical procedures are you know comparison ratio analysis from one year to the other year this year information with the last year in sales comparisons for example this year uh provision for doubtful debt with the last year the same uh, item comparison for the reasonableness of change for the reasonableness of amount recovery this is analytical procedures what are the test of details test of details for example what we do we verify inspection of documents inspection of documents what are the documents for example invoices good receive note for example good dispatch note contract board minutes sales day book so inspection of document different documents are inspected to identify the details then inspection of documents and then recalculations recalculation of cost amortization auditor recalculate depreciation nrv fair value you know that impairment so and so on recalculation are done by auditor physical inspection of items non current assets 
to to check they are owned by the company their physical condition they are being used by the company so physical inspection of assets company facilities they are called test of detail confirmation letter which are called circularizations as well so it writes confirmation letter to the direct uh, to the auditor uh, to the receivable payable third party so it does that confirmation letters are written to verify item then inquiry or discussion with management with management about issues about sales about probability of payment so inquiry with the management discussion with them so they are the test of detail which are which are done by auditor to verify the items the, whether it it should be recognized if recognized whether it has been recorded at correct amount okay and inspection of documents is used too much recalculation is done confirmation letter is done okay now so students so, so i i have just given a brief overview of that what are the substantive tests what they are, what are the practical techniques ways used in substantive test by our auditor now so students so how to draft a substantive test this is our topic for today remember the topic substantive test has to be drafted it should meet ideally these four you know thing it is an action to be taken so it starts with enquire discuss review recalculate verify so basically they are the actions to be taken they are the actions to be taken it should not be like that the auditor should do this audit should check this no that is not the right tune to write an audit for a substantive test it is an imperative sentence just like an order from one person to the other inquire verify review recalculate okay so this should be the tune and then there is a source to verify something now source can be for example what can be the source source can be from which you have to verify management board minutes invoices invoices then is for example grn gdn contracts license and so on there will be so there may be so many other sources i'm just giving you example correspondence legal claim you know this is what uh, we can we can say that sources may be so many now purpose they say discuss with the management regarding legal claim what what you want to discuss likelihood of the payment for example recalculate the depreciation charge what for why to verify its arithmetical purpose 
review cash flow for ka uh, cash cash book of the company why to verify the actual payment made to the claimant means there should be purpose if you are not mentioning the purpose your 50% mark will be deducted means that each substantive tax have one mark if you only miss purpose normally 0.5 mark deducted immediately and if substantive test have been asked on scenario if scenario is given your substantive test should be scenario specific you cannot i'm saying if they have given you scenario and asked you to write substantive test on the scenario so you must you must write scenario specific procedure test you cannot write generic procedures over there you cannot write so scenario specific should be there now so generic yes can be written where i will tell you soon i will be shifting towards the past paper question so i will be telling you that where some generic procedures can be written where is the room where is the room no. so you see here you see here this is your examiner's word writing generic procedures where scenario specific is required won't attract any mark for you it won't attract any mark remember that so you have to write you must have to write scenario specific audit procedures remember that now now this is requirement from you people that you want to master substantive test it is not something to be achieved overnight consistency and a process is required you know a process a learning process the first thing is conceptual knowledge of the subject that is required first thing conceptual knowledge second means what substantive tests are you know that what are uh, what we can say assertions what are the substantive tests on assertions so conceptual knowledge of the subject and what examiner wants just like i told you pass it is pass p a double s pass purpose action source and scenario specific pass now so concept exam technique understanding and normally the problem with the students is there they do these two, two things and they say now we know everything with the same level of rigor they don't go to the point 3 and 4 i must say if you have learned exam techniques and you have the conceptual knowledge this is mandatory to be done written practice question written when i say written it means the way you will write question in exam students don't do this normally to so written practice question and then marking of those question to so learning from the mistake i find students failing fsh because of the gap here they come to me they say bishamza i have prepared bpp book kit kaplan but i don't pass the paper then i say okay have you marked your answer the have you done practice exam condition and here there is the lack now writing scenario specific procedures i i'll come to it first come here in your exam we know that the first 15 questions 
आर और ओ टी क्यूज सेक्शन ए सेक्शन बी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हैज थ्री स्नैरियोज हैज थ्री स्नैरियोज स्नैरियो वन वन टू एंड थ्री थ्री स्नैरियो दो क्वेश्चन स्नैरियो वन इट हैज वन क्वेश्चन ऑन सबस्टांटिव टेस्ट I am telling you based on the past paper analysis. Pick previous five-year past paper. You will find that questionnaire you one has a question on substantive test. Normally, five to six marks. I will write here four marks to eight marks. Although for eight marks it's never got tested. Okay, four to eight, four to six marks. Normally it is six marks on average. and then afterwards normally question number 3 normally can be two it is on scenario based question another question scenario scenario based substantive test minimum 15 marks 15 to 20 marks normally what does it happen i am saying on the basis of past paper analysis normally this question here is some space to write generic procedures substantive test i'm giving disclaimer this is based on past paper depending upon the question and i will show you when i'll go to the past paper question that how you will analyze the scenario so the other one is normally normally exceptions may be there they have two to three parts they have with scenario based substantive test this is how it is so if the generic question have been tested again it required thorough clarity detailed understanding of substantive substantive test again it requires okay now come here so writing fast scenario specific procedures i will come to it you know for each question by the way read requirement carefully because sometime examiner has restricted you in the requirement the right procedures on this aspect remember and when you are not writing procedure on that aspect it means you are getting d track for example in scenario they say write procedures on development cost write procedures on development cost capitalization now you cannot write procedure that check whether expenditure was authorized by the board verify from the board minutes because they have specifically told you capitalization criteria has to be verified remember that there is criteria so you have no space to write procedure another example they have given you the required write procedures on depreciation and they have given you scenario in which they have written the addition of new assets and other items as well 
you cannot write procedure on addition or disposal. The requirement restrict to the requirement. Re yes, requirement careful. And then according to requirement, read scenario. Try to find out from the scenario what is the information from the because in scenario there may be something distracting for you. You may get detracked. You may get detracked when you are uh, reading the scenario. You may find some other information which is not relevant to requirements. And if you start writing procedure on that, it will be blunder. It will be blunder. So then you will write specific procedure on the issue. Issue and scenario. This is scenario based procedure. So I'll be moving towards past exam uh, uh, questions. I have drafted a document I will be sharing with you as well. They are the, you know, you may have it. You may find this, uh, these question on the uh, ACC website. I have taken from the same. Let me share my uh, screen of the laptop with you. Yes, here we are. These are the past exam questions. Nine questions. I may add one or two more past papers in it. Then I will share this document with you. A comprehensive document on substantive test practice. Means that I want you to solve these 12, 13 questions I want to add total. That will be enough for you to prepare for exam on this topic, right? So you see here, come to the question, this one, March, June, 2022, right? Come here, right? This is scenario based question. Describe substantive procedure. The auditor should perform to obtain sufficient appropriate audit evidence in relation to spinach is revenue revenue so revenue information is given here we will talk about it don't you worry then describe the audit procedure the auditor should perform as part of audit of spinach company during and before inventory now this is something which is easy part because you should know it is basically knowledge based if you have good knowledge, then you can write about it. Okay. Now, share capital, write, describe substantive procedures. The auditor should perform to obtain sufficient appropriate evidence in relation to the issue of share capital. You see, 15 marks. We will talk about it. No, don't you worry. Please. Now come here. Here is the September, December 21. Scenario one. Describe substantive procedures the auditor should perform in relation to development expenditure five months. This is scenario one, September, December 21. So they have asked the question five months. Five months. So now let us do it. Speech developing a new production process which will help to reduce sugar in its drinks by 50%. Development commenced 1st November and the total amount capitalized was $0.8 million. Yes, students, so if I write here, year end is, is 30th June 20 X. 5. Okay. So on 1st May, they approved the process and production of new sugar commenced. Yes. Development expenditure. Now, total amount capitalized was this. 1. 
development commenced on 1st november okay 24 right on 1st may they approved the process good now we should know now this is the question in which we find something scenario based something scenario based right the total amount capitalized food safety authority proof two procedures minimum can be written on it one on each now development expenditure criteria what is that what is that so then develop i will write the accounting treatment first here in exam you will not write this accounting treatment let me write separately let me write separately so then development cost can be capitalized for a product a product if it is technical feasible technically feasible it is commercially feasible its cost can be measured reliably this is accounting treatment which we have studied in f3 now next moreover development cost should be amortized over the useful life of the product and if it is of indefinite life it should be tested for impairment at least annually now this this is the treatment as per this is the treatment as per ifrs and you people should know this treatment then we can solve the question on it the remaining part okay i'll come back to it first of all come to the scenario so what are the substantive procedures substantive procedures on development cost expenditure now focus student they said the amount capitalized for was 0.8 million so obtain the breakup of 0.8 million spent on development of the product verify it from where obtain this yes from relevant source documents documents it that it should not include any research cost first thing it should not include this is audit procedure obtain the break up of this scenario specific verify with source documents such as invoices this should be mentioned if you write only source documents you lose mark such as invoices or payroll records cost etc now it is a complete procedure 
it should not include any research cost. Next. The next point is, the next point is, we will, we will verify, review the license issued by the Food Safety Authority. to verify the technical feasibility of the license is for technical feasibility. Technical feasibility of the new drinks. Yes. Five. Now, commercial feasibility. I told you commercial feasibility. So, students, review market research reports. Market research reports, or you can say uh, survey, customer survey report to verify the new drinks are the new drinks are acceptable to the customers and it is financially viable to launch these this product Yes, financially viable or not. So this is the financial feasibility. Now, next. Now we have written these two procedures in area specific. So students, they say production have commenced. It is, it, we can check it to assess the cash flows. Yes, review the details of the sale of the new drinks developed. Review the details of after the post year end. And Yes, developed to assess whether they are in line with the initial forecast of the company. Why we are checking student to assess its impairment. Yes, to assess its impairment. Basically, now discuss with management. Whether any amortization has been charged on the development cost. And if yes, and if it is so, review its reasonableness as per the discussion with management. As per the uh, re review, the reasonableness of assumptions used. Used for that. Amortization. 
Yes. So you see here, this is procedure on amortization because they have not given any information to us about border. So this is basically procedure on accounting treatment. I told you recognition. These are the procedure on recognition. Initial recognition. Yes. And this is about a measurement. How it should be recorded? It's, it's impairment and amortization. Is that clear to everyone? So this is how procedure should be written. They tell, yes, the reason, source, action, this is action, source, right? And scenario specific. I hope it is clear to you people so far. Now, the next question is September, December, 2021. If you come here again, the procedures are here. Describe substantive procedures. The auditor should perform in relation to land and building. Five marks. Yes. In relation to uh, the, describe the procedure the auditor should perform in relation to exception. Exceptions noted during the receivable circularization. Five marks. Describe the substantive procedures the auditor should perform in relation to provisions and the receivables arising from the sale of defective goods. So three requirements are there. Scenario-based question it is. Now, so it is 1st July. G company is listed stock exchange and sells consumer goods to wholesale customers. If the company has a large head office and 18 warehouse. Yes. So the final audit for the year is due to commence shortly. These resorts, total assets are these and profit before tax is this. The following three uh, matters have been, there is uh, some, yes, matters have been brought to your attention. Here is the information in front of you people. Now, so the next is D companies histori historical, it historically record all property at Cost less accumulated depreciation. How did the year management decided to change the accounting policy and, and go went for revaluation model? Yes. Finance director hired an external valuer to undertake the valuation of the building and took and this took place in January, July 2004. Yes. Just a minute, please. The application is calculated monthly on pro rata basis. D companies year and balance of land and building include this. Now, so what is the information with us? They went from the cost model to revaluation model. Okay, one thing. External independent value, valuer 
valuation expired. Yes. The next is all land and buildings. Okay. Then is depreciation. That's it. So they have given us the right procedures related to land and build. And it is very easy, I'm telling you. This one. Five procedures. Now, so students, substantive test on this. Just a minute. Come here. I will write substantive test here. Just like your exam windows. On land and building. Now, five marks means five substantive tests are to be written. So students, cost model to revaluation model. Yes. So discuss with management of the company the reason for using revaluation model for land and building and assess the validity of their response what they are saying. Yes. And assess the validity of their response. Second, hired external valuer to undertake all land and valuation of the land and building. Now, the second one. Review non-current asset register of the company and verify whether all the land and buildings of the company have been revalued. It have been revalued. Just one minute, let me check. I think there is some typing error. This type my, my assistant. So question, I think there is some mistake in the question. Just give me one minute only. I'm opening ACC website. Verify only one item from it. Just one minute, please. Yeah, just one minute. September, December 21. Just want to verify one thing from it. No, it is yes, the appreciation is monthly. Okay, right, all right. It's okay. It's okay.
now next yes so whether all the land and building of the company have very value okay right now students this say external provider valuer review the revaluation report review the valuation revaluation report yes of the external independent valuer regarding land and building and assess and assess the reasonableness of assumptions and methods used in valuation yes assumptions and methods used in the revaluation now next point three procedure done fourth recalculate the revaluation adjustment on the land and building and verify the same has been recorded in the revaluation surplus account revaluation surplus account verify now next depreciation is charged on a pro rata basis recalculate the depreciation on the asset revaluate revalued you know whether their depreciation was charged on which date they were revalued revaluation took place on july right year end is march this right you see here the depreciation recalculate depreciation before revaluation date before july on their carrying values on their cost basis and after revaluation on revaluation basis on a pro rata basis and verify whether i will explain the same have been recorded in financial statement you know the cost they say on in july they shifted to the to the revaluation model before that two three months it was on cost basis so depreciation should be on the cost basis and after the july it should be on the revaluation basis this is what what i am saying here now 
review financial statement disclosures whether all the disclosures whether all the disclosures related to related to land and building have been given as per ias 16 students do this blunder they said verify all the disclosures that have been given as per what ias at least mention ias if you don't remember the number even is it clear so far students you in exam i have written how many six you will write only five you can write one procedure on the competence of the external independent as well provider you can write a procedure on that as well i didn't write it right because i don't think that uh, uh, means that is too much specific to the scenario so five procedures is it clear so far student is it clear tell me right now the next is trade receivable circularization now this is a very easy question i am telling you this is not about that type of procedure here so d company real and trade diesel birth has significant increase compared to the previous year okay d company the receivable ledger is made up of a large number of customers balances ranging from yes the 15000 to 150000 circularization have been undertaken by the team on the year end balances the majority of responses from the customers agree to balance at 31st how are following differ now you see here nile company balance as per accounts customer no response balance as per this students when there is no response when there is no response from the customer what is done follow up confirmation letter is sent if still then the telephone approached then alternative procedures what they are i will explain yes so you see here in this case in this case i will write the procedure here now so audit procedure in case of the exception noted substantive test in case of nile company who didn't respond basically so it has how many marks five marks nile company and congo so total five procedure required we can write three for one and two for the other one okay or three three equally for the both we can write we can write both yes now so nile company when nile company did not respond what should be done so the first procedure with the permission of what is the name of the company d company name is a quite tough yes this one with the permission of them 
right company write another letter confirmation letter as a follow up request a follow up of the first letter sent follow up if still no response received if still no response received then what to be done then what to be done so students request the permission of the noob company to approach nile company via telephone via telephone will approach them via telephone yes and request them to respond the confirmation letter sent if still there is non response perform alternative substantive test such as what are the alternative confirmation of amount from from the individual invoices outstanding invoices and goods dispatch notes gdn and review of post year and cash receipts if any from the customer yes this is what is in the case of nile company now let us proceed further the second case is exception means the balance as per d company is this the customer say no i have to pay this what can be the reason you will tell me what can be the reason tell me please this exception what can be the reason tell me please one case exactly cash in transit or goods in transit there might be some dispute exactly or misposting in the accounts so we will draft it that audit procedures on substantive test on on which congo company yes yeah. substantive test on the congo company yes
verify the reason for the difference for the difference between response from the Congo company and the record of the new company, whether it is due to timing difference, misposting in record, misposting in record, or yes or some dispute among them the first first is verify what is the reason then the next procedure will be accordingly for example for the cash in transit at year end means that is the timing difference for the cash in transit at the year end if there is verify sorry if there is verify the cash received from the Congo company from the post year and cash book of company. Now you see, I have told you this is a different different type of question. Means not the conventional substantive test on any counting issue, right? Now, next point. For the goods in transit, at year end, if there is, there are any, verify from the goods dis Patch note issued before year end verify from the relevant good dispatch note issued before the year end present in record of the new company yes present in record of the new company you see here three procedures are done enough you can write further as well but in exam you will not write it's enough it is enough because five marks, one procedure for per mark. So we have written six for it. Yes, you can write here that review receivable ledger, receivable, you know that uh, receivable ledger. to identify any possible misposting of the cash received from Congo company. Yes, that's it. Enough. 
this is excessive one procedure i suggest to you write the procedure equal to number of marks not more than that not more than that now next point procedures on provision and receivable arising this one the last paragraph in december 2004 d company solved the number of overboard to a customer sold kamala kids company it is alleged by the that these are faulty and there have been a few instances of or board overheating catching fire is for the 3.9 million the court case is due to take place in august and the management believe that it likely to be successful no however board remain in janub inventory at year end okay you're going to purchase how was from a supplier thames company in february the noob company contacted came the requested that they reimburse the noob company just a minute please let me open the past paper yeah yes okay they should reimburse the group company a sum of this which is being requested from thames company yes okay right just a minute a sum of i'm sorry you know i was not expecting these mistakes to be present the draft first would contain a provision of this customer complaint and receivable of this okay right from this now the point is there procedures on provision provision for then the receivable from the sale five marks we cannot write all five procedure on provision we cannot write all procedure on the uh for receivable okay now this is the point so so we cannot we cannot write this so we have to score five marks and which will be evenly distributed okay now <clears throat> so students let us proceed so i will simply copy it from here because i have to write scenario based question uh, answer here come here then i will delete it substantive task on provision and receivable So this is the story in front of you. The first thing is the case is there. Yes, three point nine million. So provision for that. Provision for that, we should. Provision is in respect of case. One issue. Now, first of all, 
रिव्यू कोरेस्पॉन्ड एंड रिव्यू बोर्ड मिनट इज द बिग बिग इशू वी कैन नॉट रीड बोर्ड मिनट फॉर एवरी पार्टी इशू इट इज अ बिग इशू फॉर द कंपनी बोर्ड मिनट्स ऑफ द मीटिंग ऑफ डेनू कंपनी डेनूबी कंपनी टू असेस एनी लाइकलीहुड ऑफ पेमेंट amount to be paid to kamala kid company being discussed there yes like we have why why this this is the purpose scenario specific then what can the source identify amount to likely to be paid review the correspondence between the new company and kamala kids company to assess the likelihood of amount to be paid for settlement of claim of the claim if any yes enquire from the legal advisor or solicitor of the denu company regarding the likely outcome of the case done three procedures done two aspects are there we have read five procedures one aspect three procedures written three procedure written on one aspect now next now receivable from the from the supplier they have recorded that yes they reimburse the supplier same company so first of all review the correspondence between the the new company and thames company the supplier whether the whether the supplier accepts the liability of 3.9 million or not yes now they have recorded receivable by the way this this is contingent asset they are discussing with them it is contingent assets so this is the wrong treatment by the management this contingent asset should not be recognized yes yes so discuss with management whether it is virtually certain that the amount will be received from the thames company to a certain the recording of receivable is correct or not virtually certain by the way five procedures done five procedures have been done now so students 
the last procedure i will always write a simple procedure which is easy procedure but do write it at the end review financial statement disclosure you shouldn't even don't score marks in this procedure because they miss important thing whether all the disclosures relevant to the lawsuit from customer and the payment details from the supplier has been given as per ias 37 or not now next so this is done this is done students miss normally what they miss they normally miss this point specific to a scenario this one one thing this is all the disclosure is given verify when you don't mention the scenario item you will lose marks second thing they miss is given as per what one thing they miss is this one and the second thing they miss this one one or one of the both and they lose 0.5 mark i hope it is clear to you people now i will remove this from here next so let us take a short break of 10 minutes we'll be back we will be solving another question yes another question will be solving yes march june payroll expense this one and march june most probably i'll be doing this this one as well okay so see you in 10 minutes
Yes, everyone now. So I hope all of you are there. The point is, Describe substantive procedure the auditor should perform to obtain evidence, sufficient appropriate evidence regarding the uh, identified uh, inventory valuation of Vigo dog products. Yes, Vigo dog products. Now, so here it is, five marks, which is five marks, yes, to come here. It's very easy. Perfect. It is July 25. Variety of dog and food goods they sell. Your firm, Kiran and Khan, audited the company for a number of years. Okay, the year end, 31st March, total assets are here. <laughs> Perfect launched a new brand of vegan food, dog food, Vigo Dog. In December 20 export, sale have been more than expected. Now, just one minute, please. Just one second. Is the past paper. Yes, it is the past paper, March, June 21. Right. Just one minute, please. Only one word made the whole meaning change. In the question, it was lower than expected. We're going to hear more. Lower than expected. Directors are considering, yes, a discounted sale price are valued using the standard costing and the standard cost comprise raw material, labor, production overheads. Two point at 31st March. Very good question, I think. Very good question. So the answer will be here. Yes. It is March, June, 2021. So audit procedures, substantive tax, on inventory valuation. Substantive tax on the inventory valuation. Yes. So, the point is, <laughs> we know that inventory is valued at lower of cost and energy. Yes, lower of cost and energy. So, we go dog inventory, which is be not being sold. When we know that sold is sale is lower than expected. First of all, we need to vary the being auditor. It's 
cos second. Second, we need to verify if n are v. Okay. So there are five marks for this question. So five procedures have to be written. Okay. Five marks mean five procedures. Six marks, sorry, six procedures. Six for this, four for Ella. Yes. It has six marks. Six marks. Four marks and five marks for it. Okay. Like this. So it's not that difficult. So six procedures. First of all, they say how much is the total? 2.4 million is the finished goods inventory in total. 2.4 million, right? Now, so, students, the point is inventory valuation. We have to, <clears throat> here is the 2.4 million. The point is they are considering, this is the indication of NRV, NRV, standard cost. Let us start it. First of all, obtain the standard cost card of vegan dog from the management and review it arithmetical or recalculate it. Recalculated to verify its arithmetical accuracy. First of all, you see, start from one side standard cost cost. Verify the raw material in raw material included cost included in it in the cost card from purchase invoice invoices labor cost from payroll record and review the overhead in details whether they are of manufacturing related nature or not you see here so we have verified cost so the second procedure on this very easy to write <clears throat> six marks are there third They say total cost is this, okay? Obtain the record of inventory count of Vigo, Vigo dog at year end. Vigo dog, yes. Here at and multiply it number of units with the standard cost 
per unit to verify it is equal to 2.4 million or not. Because they say at the year end, they are included at this. They are included at this point. Yeah. Now. Now NRV. Discounted sale price. Review the sales price charge to the customer after discount for vegan food to assess it is below or above standard cost of the product. Yes, this is the purpose. It is above the cost or below the cost. Now, then they we'll say, one more thing, the sales are lower than expected. Okay. Sales are lower than expected. Compare the actual sale the of the vision food with budgeted sale and production of the vision food. Vision food to assess whether whether to assess the chances of expiry of item in stock. Yes. And whether a written down is written down of its value is required. Return down of the value is required or not because if it is less than yes. Now it is done. Let us proceed further. One of the perfect companies provide uh, uh, one of one of the perfect companies. Yes. Major customer, Ella company. Yes, major customer. 
just a minute. Ella Company runs a chain of stores. Now, 23 stores. There have been reports in the press of several months that Ella's sales and profits have been falling. And in March, they announced 11 October to close at 31st March. Perfect trade table include outstanding and no allowance have been created. Press reports. Now, customer is going to be bankrupt. Reports, yes. So students, the first of all, let me copy it paste there. Yes. Come here. So the point is quite clash. First of all, perfect company's customer is facing problems. So review correspondence between the perfect company and Ella company. to assess any difficulty being discussed regarding payment. So now what we want to verify, whether the amount is recoverable or not, and whether a provision should be recorded or not, whether the receivable should be written down or not. This is the purpose of this receivable. Yes, regarding payment. This is the purpose to vary, to apply procedures on it. Now, second point. Review post year and cash book of company to identify any amount received from Ella company. One thing, any amount. Now, discuss with credit controller of company whether Ella company has breached its credit terms are paying within that within its credit terms or not yes because if they are breached it means a provision is required no provision recognition criteria yes Review the aged receivable ledger and the condition of Ella and assess whether the Peruvian for doubtful debt recorded by the perfect company is sufficient to cover these doubtful debt or not whether yes you said no allowance has been included Discuss with the management, by the way, four months, four are enough. Management of perfect company. Why they have not 
recorded and he allows for ella companies and assess the validity of the response their response yes why they have not done it? i hope it is clear so far i hope it is clear so legal claim legal claim a similar question we have done last question cat food has been contaminated legal claim they have received so the last question we did one part on the same it is the repetition of the same so students i hope you can do it yourself i hope you can do it yourself and i hope today's session was fruitful for you uh just one minute please i will be sharing with you a small poll just a minute please i'll be sharing with you the small poll now so students just see this and fill this poll please be quick please fill this feedback everyone will fill everyone will fill please it doesn't take more than 10 seconds be quick
All right. So majority of the students, they are willing to attend more sessions on it. So, uh, right. Uh, we will be continuing this session on Monday, same time. Okay. And uh, next week, do practice more question on substantive yourself. And you can ask the questions in the WhatsApp groups as well, which I will respond in the class. Okay, I will respond your question in the class as well. If possible in the WhatsApp group as well, I will respond in the voice note. So next week we'll be meeting, we'll be solving two to three more substantive question, questions. Okay, so it will be a good revision for you people. So thank you for joining me today. So see you uh, next class. Take care, goodbye. Goodbye.